Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that water. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Smokies. I fished this, about, I did a video about three months ago on the same river, but way upstream. So this is the lower part. Guys, I have not fished that pool right there in 30 years. <laughs> it's time to play catch up. See you in a minute in the river. Okay, today I'm gonna start out with a little grasshopper. With a little bit of indicator on top of it. And the reason I'm starting with a grasshopper is it's kind of late. It's really late in the season for hoppers. But there's a big grassy field over there. And I'll bet you anything when they mow that grassy field, hoppers get, get in here. Let's watch see what happens. I'm using the Orvis Silver Label TL. It's a nine foot four weight, medium action. Really nice size. Y'all seen me use this before. I ain't seen any rises. Absolutely zero bug activity. Not unusual for this time of year. Not unexpected. Has to be expected. And hopefully this trip I can land fish instead of just getting them to refuse and jump off and like that last trip. Howdy. All right. Hey, good luck, man. Thank you. Now, see, that was nice of him. He's gonna. He's gonna go. He said, "Y'all probably couldn't have heard it." He said he's gonna go downstream and give me space, not get up in front of me. My kind of fisher. And they ain't gonna go after this hopper. I don't think so. Well, I'll fish it up to the riffles. They just may not be back here. Water's crystal clear, as always. That's the thing about the Smoky Mountains, guys. You may find high water, but it's hard to find dirty water. Now we did have a cold front come through. It's uh, it's about seven degrees colder than it was yesterday. Clear blue skies, post frontal. I am not happy about that. But guys, we fish when we can, not when it's best. No, I ain't going for it. I may have to go to a dry dropper before this is over with today. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Not, it's almost like something hit it, but it started, it also started dragging. Like something came up within a couple of inches and then, and then refused it. Going back with the yellow jacket. <laughs> Gotta try it. The yellow jackets are still out. Oh, one hit it, one hit it. Or he, 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 he might have refused it at the last minute. I don't think he actually hit it. Come on, fish, if you're not gonna come up and take it, don't 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 lead me on. Cause then I'll mess up and do like I did last time and stay with dry flies all day. Do something a little different, guys. This is a wet fly. Just a peacock body, and it's got hen hackle. It's very soft, has a lot of action, and it has a little bit of a wing there. Give it a little bit of notice ability and We'll see what happens.
let it go down and get little twitches from time to time. Now I just let it sling. I don't do much of this type of fishing. Wet flies down and across like this. But I have in the past been very successful with these. Okay. Got to do it, guys. Big stimulator dry. And a little olive hair zero flashback nip. Yep, I'm going to the dry dropper. And this may not happen, guys. This is, again, post frontal. These are trout. This may not happen today. It just might not. <laughs> They're not even hitting the hairs here. That hairs here is a go-to, man. That is a go-to. Put a sinker on here. May not be getting down far enough, but I don't think that's it. They may not be just willing to come up at all. Hit him on the head. Man, they ain't even hitting the hairs here. This is not happening. <laughs> no, it is not happening. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I found a dumb one. It isn't very big, but <laughs> right now I'll take it. I don't know if I foul hooked him. <laughs> Shoot. I'll let you go, dude. <laughs> well, it is a very pretty fish, no doubt. There are fish in here after all. <laughs> I was beginning to doubt. <laughs> Yeah, I snagged one. That ain't exactly, I don't count those. Now, if it was near his mouth, like he was trying to take it or something, that'd be different, but not in the belly, no. Going with a lead-eyed woolly booger. A little bit of flash in the tail. Throwing lead. <laughs> with a double taper line. That's not the best setup, but it's what I got. Let's make it work. I'm just swinging it and twitching it as it goes. Wish I could see it. It is, it is really fun to watch a big trout come up and kill a streamer. <laughs> Chase it down and whap! That is fun. And so when it comes to when it comes to trout fishing, I like the dries first. And second would be streamer fishing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go up. All right, guys, I, I'm gonna have to go up a, a tributary. <laughs> and try to catch some little trout. The little ones aren't as affected by the by a cold snap, even though it, it doesn't help them. <laughs> no. Plan B. <clears throat> Go up a tributary. This is the fairly good size tributary, fishable. Gonna start out with the yellow jacket again. I just crawled through the brush right here. Trails over there. Little pocket water. Small fish, if any fish, it's gonna be small fish. They don't bite in this little creek, man. They ain't biting anywhere. I mean, Three, four inches should be coming up and killing that thing. Or try, trying to get it in their mouth. No, nothing. Holy cow. Okay, I think I picked the worst day of the year. This is actually a pool. This looks really good, actually. No, not that spot, but that right there. Looks really good. Okay, <laughs> all right, 
first actual fish that tried to put that tried to eat the fly. Dang, there's nothing in here. Well, no, there's fish in here. When I fished it 30 years ago, there was fish. Oh, no, that wasn't a bad one for this creek at all. Not a bad one at all for this creek. Nice. Oh, fish. What are you doing to me? Good little looking spots. But... Oh, there you go. No, I think he was micro. But it was a trout came up and rose to my dry fly. Oh, he was small, but at this point, I would take him. <laughs> Holy cow, I get, did I get to land a fish today? After all, I ain't talking about the I ain't talking about the one I foul hook. Oh, hey, for this little crawl, oh, it came off. <laughs> it's okay, man. Ah, y'all saw how big he are, how not big he was. But he came up for the dry fly. He came up. Not bad. This little bitty creek. Yeah, that's what I kind of expect. Looks like we're gonna lose some water. We can ill afford to lose water. <laughs> this is crazy. There he goes. What do we got here? Got a little rainbow. Oh, okay. Are they going to turn on all of a sudden out of the blue? I'll take you, man. Ha! Ah! Oh, look at the look at the fall colors man this is beautiful probably my favorite time of year fish can be tough though now i gotta find a way the stream is over there i just gotta find a way to get to it that's what i've been doing is going up the trail and i'll find places i can get in fish up and down a little bit and then go find another one Just past some really nice pools back there. But the trail was so high up above it. I wasn't gonna climb down in there. No way. Oh, I went to pick it up. I don't think it was small, but I'm not positive to be honest with you. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm back in micros. That fish was small. That fish was small. Even by my standards, that fish was small. A little bitty fish in here ain't hitting. And a, and a small tributary. Man, it's, you forget it. You can just go home, forget it. Which is what I'm going to do. Well, guys, that's a wrap. I don't even know if I'm going to make this a video. <laughs> man, that's two two trout trips in a row where, man, I got my lunch handed to me. I mean, it's been rough. Had a cold front last night. Dropped the temps about seven degrees. Trout don't like that. Most fish don't like that. But anyway, it was great to be out in the Smokies. It was beautiful. And guys, hope to see you out on the water sometime when it's not just after a little cold snap <laughs> and the fish are cooperative. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Like I was saying, look at that. Look at that pool right there, down there, man. Hey, y'all know. I want to take you guys to some beautiful places. <laughs> That's beside a road. <laughs>
Happy breeding, guys.